Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brandon Motzkus, and today's Fabric Chat. Good morning. <laughs> so, uh, I have so many things to talk about. Uh, I've been making some notes because um, a lot of things, you know, um, we sort of have this ongoing dialogue and ongoing chat. So, uh, so for those of you that have found us for the first time, we are a mother-daughter duo. We have a quilt shop in Central Washington mm -hmm. State. We've been here for 25 years. We have a retreat center, a pattern line. Um, a brick and mortar store that is 5,000 square feet with over 10,000 bolts and most of the stuff you can find online at fabricpatch.net. We do a couple of box openings a week. We do lots of different classes and tutorials and every Wednesday morning we just sit and have coffee with friends. Yep. And it's kind of funny because every once in a while um, I'll know that it's somebody new that's ventured in because they'll say, wait, what? what I Who is Pa? <laughs> you know, or they'll ask, ask things and it's like, oh yeah, there's kind of a little context. But we have been chatting for three years. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, we started Fabric Chat during the pandemic, during mm -hmm. the shutdown. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of a, I don't remember how it started. I think it was more like, okay, we're going to answer mask questions. Because yep. some of you guys have been watching us from the very beginning because we have the distinct notoriety of being the very first mm -hmm. um, people that uh, did a mask tutorial, how to make your own mask. Mm -hmm. We did that, of course, because we're in Washington State, the birthplace of uh, COVID in America. <laughs> oh, James! We were the first <laughs> ones. So uh, we were going through it before you guys were. But uh, anyway, uh, so we had a couple of videos about mm -hmm. that, and then we were doing sort of live chats, just ask us your questions, because we couldn't keep up with the thousands of emails. Right. And then it was, well, let's talk about something else. Let's, yeah. what'd you eat for dinner last night? Because we just wanted, we just wanted conversation to be better. Yeah. We just wanted to remember what it was like to sit and have a cup of coffee with friends. <laughs> and I have to tell you, those early days, people would freak out. Why do you not have masks on? It's like, because she's my daughter and we're together every All day. All the time. We breathe each other's air and we don't do it anything would. else. Yep. But every single chat, people would say, why are you sitting so close? Why are you breathing on Why are you touching dinner? her? Sorry, Don't boss. keep touching, touching. Sorry. So anyway. Anyway, so, but if you're new... We're mother-daughter, it's all good. Mother-daughter, we breathe each other's air. <laughs> and uh, we have been chatting with everyone for three years. And yeah. lots of fun stories. We oftentimes talk about Pa, my wonderful husband. We will have been married 40 years in July. Yeah. 40 years. And we've been together since eighth grade. And uh, Brianna is my middle child. She has bookend brothers. Yes. Yeah. So, anyways, and in fact, it's kind of a funny thing. There's something else that's kind of been viral lately, and it's called the Beckham test. Have you seen that? Mm -mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so funny, because I was thinking about this. I was thinking about the difference between your brothers and our husbands, your father. Uh -huh, your... Uh -huh. so, um, so, this thing is called the Beckham test, and maybe you guys have seen it. And I assume it's because of what's you know, Beckham, the so soccer player, Sorry, and what's his Spice Girl's wife's name? Uh, Vanessa. Victoria? Crazy Spice Victor Victoria. Victoria. Victoria Beckham. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Posh Spice. Posh Spice. Spice. Posh Spice. Spice. <laughs> right. So anyway, I, I assume that that's where it started. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to prop up your phone so uh -huh. that you can videotape the evidence of this. And you're supposed to play Islands in the Stream. You know, <laughs> yes. Uh huh. You are who I want. You know, I can uh -huh. hear it. I, you don't really want me to sing it, but hopefully yeah. you can get that in your ear. You're supposed to play that song, and you're supposed to start dancing. Na, 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 na. Uh huh. Na, na, and kind of dance up to your husband, your significant <laughs> other. <laughs> and I can almost imagine what Dad would do. Just look at you like exactly. What's your what exactly? Is, you okay? So the funny thing is. <laughs> Exactly. So they're saying that the test is that if he starts dancing, then you've passed the test. You really are. That your soulmate will match your energy. Ah, uh, Robert would dance. And if you are <laughs> dancing, they'll start dancing. And I'm thinking, that okay, would not. He would not. He yeah, would Andrew either. Would no. One of two things would happen. He would either mock me. <laughs> 
Or he would do something X-rated that no one needs to see on video. Thinking it was an invitation. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. It would not be, oh, I'll dance with you. Never in a million years. And we've been together since we were, what, 14. So, no. But do you think Robert would? Because yeah, I he would. He would dance? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then it would quickly become excited. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Why are you touching that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think that, now here's the funny thing, I think that your brothers would both totally dance. Yeah, probably. I think they would. Yeah. yeah. I think that's funny. Well, but apparently anyway. Paul lacks a sense of humor. Paul would not <laughs> do it. It's so, hard though, because he's so black and white. He is. We're either dancing or we are not. Or and we're we not. Are not dancing right now. And is this a message? <laughs> Received. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, not a yeah. And our date night, if we're gonna go on a date, it's either gonna be Home dinner Depot. or a movie or no, Home you're Depot. Going to Home you're Depot. right. I, what was I saying? Home Depot. They're going to Home you're Depot right. together. Ooh, Paul's gonna buy our ice cream. cream. Yes. And then we'll, you're right. It, well, it's not gonna be dancing. I don't think it has ever been dancing. No. So yeah. Anyway, kind of it makes me cry thinking about that. I mean, <laughs> tears of laughter. So anyway, curious. We want to know. Do the Beckham test. <laughs> See if uh, your spouse. So, Jan, uh, how many of you guys, the, those of you guys that we know your husbands, we want to know. <laughs> Do you it. Give a little. What's going to happen? Da, 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 da. <laughs> it turned x rated or. No, that's good. Or he just thought I was, you know, falling. <laughs> Are you drinking? Stay drinking. <laughs> yeah, something weird. Anyway. I don't know what started all of that, um, That's but funny. anyway, oh yeah, and Lori and Ben, we want to know from you guys too, <laughs> because funny thing about Ben, again, if you guys have been watching us for a while, and if you um, hang out with us every Wednesday morning, you know about my ongoing feud with Ben. It's not really a feud. I love that man. It's banter. It's banter. All friendly. It's banter. Um, ben and Lori are friends of ours from... Um, Louisiana. They first came up a couple of years ago, um, just um, came up and for a visit, kind of a bucket list trip, and yeah. um, hung out, stayed in a bungalow. We visited on the, the deck. It was all fun. And then they came back again for a retreat and then went with us on the Columbia yeah. River cruise. And they are just a lovely couple. Lovely, lovely people. Um, Lori was the one that we had asked. She's been on our prayer chain for a bit because she was in the hospital extended Mm -hmm. um, uh, with COVID. And she has some other issues. And so it was particularly difficult for her. And um, uh, home now. Yes. Recently, home now after an extended stay and even a little bit of rehab. Um, and Ben, I know, is glad to have her home because they, they were an hour. I mean, he would go visit her every day, but he lives an hour from the hospital, oh, so wow. it was kind of hard for him. But um, but anyway, Ben, lovely man, uh, he and Pa are big major besties, but um, he is our squirrel hunter <laughs> who is constantly giving us... Um, information about squirrel recipes and i don't know that everybody knew this but did i because did i talk about seeing monkeys yes and that i thought they looked like a squirrel yes you did okay i must have because then ben let me know that um the recipes were interchangeable oh good to uh, know yeah shish kebab monkey versus (laughs) shish kebab squirrel very similar same Mm. thing so if you're trapped in the amazon there you go Never gonna happen. Well, <laughs> he sent me another email. Ooh. He just loves to taunt me. Uh, he really just, wants you to cook one. <laughs> He's gonna send you up some dry, uh, freeze dried no. packaged squirrel. Ew. Squirrel jerky. What would it be? One piece? I don't know. Robert would totally It's eat just it. not even worth it. I just think those poor little, poor little tree mice. I mean, by the time <laughs> you can catch the, it, and same for the coyotes. <laughs> just, just like to watch them. Mm. I don't know what it is about their floofy tail that I think they're so... wants to make you so... know why God made a squirrel. <laughs> we know why God made rabbits and bunnies. Rabbits are they're just the... nature's food. Yeah, it's so everybody everyone gets a, a meal. I wonder what the purpose of a squirrel was. I know, because I mean, Pa hates them because well, they really are just like mice. They're I mean, they get into your attic, they cause all kinds of trouble, they chew through They'll wires. They'll electrocute they yourself do, and your power's uh, out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that all of those things are true, but gosh, those funny little tails. They, I, I just mean, love watching them. I'm going to be that crazy cat lady on the corner that's also feeding the squirrels for your cats to eat. Well, no, I would have to have vegetarian cats. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. If you eat 
eat meat, you cannot stay here. <laughs> you must stay in the house. You cannot eat a bird or a squirrel. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I have a cat that could ever catch a squirrel. High hopes. <laughs> High yeah, hopes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Um, uh, Your recipe. Yes. He sent me. So we had opened um, on box opening on, I don't know what day it was, Wednesday. Yeah, the cookbooks. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the one dish mm -hmm. uh, recipes. He says, uh, my monkey meat and squirrel dish are mostly one dish recipes. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Say this onions, squirrel. <laughs> Such a bad one. That's hilarious. We are sending. So, we are sending um, a care package to Lori today, and we're putting this cute little, cute little squirrel in there. <laughs> um, and uh, the other thing, it was kind of funny because I was doing some shopping, and I saw this. They had this little. Have you seen those screaming goats? Yes, I love. I gave one to Jordan for oh his desk gosh. at work. Yes. <laughs> I love I was it. Just carrying one around because I was like my send life it to Lori, and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be so funny. Instead of having a little bell, if she needs something, she just like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> squeeze that. And then, like a dork, I don't know. I had this moment of what if Ben gets it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I put it back. And then it's like, no, I'm getting that. And then it was gone. There was only uh, two left in the store. And um, anyway, it wasn't there. But I thought, I feel fairly good that, um, uh, Lori, you probably dodged a bullet. Because <laughs> if Ben did get it, I think that she would be throttling him. Yeah. And that would probably be good, too. But um, So anyway, no screaming goat. But I do think that looks good. If you guys get an Amazon package, that's what's going to be in it. It's pretty funny. I know. It seems really funny. I think it's hilarious. Those goats themselves. Goats are so funny. <laughs> Super funny. Smelly things. We had goats um, growing up, and uh, um, I don't think everybody realizes this because goats are kind of fun. They're fun to watch. But as as male, goats, male goats pee on their head. They think and they not everybody fancy. knows that they do because female goats love the smell of that. So oh. every male goat pees on his head. Yep. So you need to know that when you go to a petting farm or whatever. Don't pet the guys. Don't touch them. Uh, don't touch them. He's the one smells. It's I mean, not the pet. Scratch <laughs> their tush, the top of, you know, scratch them before. Do not, do yeah. not pet their heads. <laughs> and nasty. They're nasty little critters. Yeah. Cute. But, uh, and Ben, do not send me a go recipe. We don't eat that. No, They're too cute. They're super cute little guys. All right, let's see. I'm going to have to put my glasses on and see my other notes. So let's see. Um, we had, let's answer a couple of questions, and then we have some new things to announce that are kind of fun. So we had only a couple of questions. One was, um, I already know what it is. I have to look at this. One was, um, we were talking about the retreats, and one oh, person yeah. said, um, if I come to the machine embroidery retreat, can I rent um, a machine? Because, of course, when you come to any retreat, if you don't want to lug your machine across country with you, we are happy to uh -huh. rent you a machine. We do charge $59 for the rental fee, and that's just basically the cleaning fee. Mm -hmm. um, we also do an offer that if you want to purchase the machine that you've sewn on, we give you this crazy yeah. good used machine kind of deal. We do the same thing with an embroidery machine. Mm -hmm. um, people have rented an embroidery machine for a couple of reasons. One is they are perfectly happy with their embroidery machine, but again, they don't want to lug it across country. And the other thing is they just want to test it out. Right. I think I kind of think I want my next machine to be an embroidery machine, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. So then when you come, you don't have to know one single thing about machine embroidery. So you can rent a machine. It would be a faff, of course. Um, sew on it, do your embroidery, do your projects. Then you can go, mm, not for me. Or mm, tell me again what the deal is. Right. So either way, so yes, yes, yes. And in fact, this might be a good time to talk about the retreats. Um, we did contact the people on our wait list, except for those of you guys that are still on our wait list for the Christmas retreat. You're still there. We've not had really very is many. Full still. Way, way, way full. So. And I think I still have, I think I've contacted like the first two maybe, but I think we still have eight people on the wait list. So yep. you can add yourself <laughs> to the wait list if you want to, but that hasn't changed much. The others have mostly changed a yeah. little bit. Um, we still do not at the moment have room in the Southern Comfort Retreat, but we also do not have anybody on the wait list because. 
because we've moved them in. So Southern Comfort Retreat is our first one. It's the middle of May. We're doing the Jacob's Ladder quilt, and mm -hmm. um, it's all about cooking and eating. It's well, fun. and everything else. And and if you if you you know don't eat that way, we do have healthy options. But we are going to imbibing in lots of <laughs> butter and Crisco. Yeah. But um, but anyway. Um, uh, there's nobody currently on the waiting list. So if you kind of feel like you could get that together, if you put yourself on the waiting list, you would be next up. And things change yep. a lot. And our rule is that we don't do a refund within 60 days prior to the retreat unless we can fill your spot. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of nice if you if something comes up, you know, three weeks before and you really can't come, um, if we call somebody on the wait list, oftentimes there's somebody who's semi-local. It's like, yeah, I can totally get yeah. it together and come. Mm -hmm. Because really all you need to bring is um, your toiletries, a couple changes of clothes, pajamas, and we've pretty much got you for the rest. So yeah. um, you'd be all right. But anyway, so Southern Comfort, you can put yourself on the wait list. And then the first bag retreat, which is... Uh, first, the first part of June, June, June 5th or something. Mm -hmm. That one is full, but again, on that one, it is full, and there is nobody currently on the waiting list. Mm -hmm. The second bag treat, retreat, I think we have three or four spots available in that bag retreat. That one, I think, starts Wednesday the 12th, and we say it starts on Wednesday. Wednesday is a travel day. We kind of get you there, get you all you know, settled in. We have some fun stuff to do. And then we have dinner together. We have a welcome. And then we start sewing on Thursday. We're going to make a bag on Thursday, another bag on Friday, and a third bag on Saturday. And then Sunday is a travel day. Yep. And your fee includes um, all of your instruction, gift bag, prizes. We play games every night. That's all of fun. your food, all of your lodging covers everything. Um, there is a kit fee for that one because we're p getting everything together for you. Your patterns, your fasteners. To make all three of those bags. So yeah. you don't have to bring anything with you yeah. to make any three of those bags. If you want nope. to make something else... We have a full store for you. <laughs> and we're going to have three trunk shows. Yeah, it's for you. super cool. So bring your wallet. If you also have a bag that you've started at home yeah, and feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so lost, I'm so stuck, bring that with you. Mm -hmm. Bring all your hardware, bring all your everything with it, bring your pattern. And then we can, one of those nights, we'll get it all put up together for you. And Brianna and Maisie and we'll make it I will be there. <laughs> <laughs> And we have a co-teacher. For those of you guys that yes. remember Rosalie, mm -hmm. she is coming and she's going to hang out for both retreats. That'd and she is a major bag maker. Yeah. That's what happens That's awesome. when your family says, stop making quilts for me. I don't have room for any more. You make them bags. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what you do. So anyway, um, bag retreat. And then what's the next one? Um, uh, the mixed media retreat, which is super, super fun. Um, I think we have two spots left in that one. Mm -hmm. And for some of you guys that are doing the mixed media and the bag, or is the bag before? The bag is after. Um, we have a little special deal where we'll let you stay Monday and Tuesday for free. Um, uh, just hang out. Mm -hmm. um, so you can go ahead and do both. I think we have a I think there's two or three people that are doing yeah. that. And all you guys are, have to do is do some sort of a day excursion on, excursion on Monday because we'll yeah. clean your sheets, do all of that. Yeah, we have to, to clean, clean on Monday. Bed. So Monday you have to disappear a little bit, but the rest <laughs> of the time you can just stand so and everything yeah. is good. Um, and then what other one am I missing? Oh, and then the machine embroidery retreat. And I think yeah. there's two spots left in that I one. Think so. Mm -hmm. yeah. so it's all good. It's all good. We probably will not mention this tonight at box opening right. so if you haven't noticed there's lots of secrets that we tell uh you guys you guys because um, <laughs> if you're you guys as our dedicated <laughs> yeah. viewers that you don't want to miss a an episode so um and you guys are probably also aware that if you can't get into a retreat there are two cruise options mm. um we've got alaska coming up in august um me and the kiddos and robert and mom and dad are going to go up to Alaska. I think it's like a seven day, super short, leaving out of Seattle, going all around. Super, super fun. So if you can't make it to a retreat, maybe August. It's beautiful weather. I, it's, it's beautiful. Fantastic. August. I think we're leaving. I think we show up over. I should know this all by heart, but we show up over in Seattle on, I think, and it's, this is all on our website. I think on yeah. like Friday, the it's two days off. It must be the 16th. No, we get on the boat on 16th. So it must be Friday the 15th, which is right after Wyatt's seventh birthday. Mm -hmm. So we show up in Seattle and you stay Saturday night because then, I mean, Friday. 
is it Sunday or Saturday? We're going to spend the night in Seattle. Whatever night regardless. it is. We spend the night because then in the morning we get on a bus at 8.30 and we have a quick little tour of Seattle. We're going to go to the Chihuly Glass Museum. Oh, and then it. we're going to go to a couple of quilt shops. And this is just us, our little group. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go get on the boat. And I think the boat takes off at, I don't remember if it's a Saturday or Sunday, but it takes off at 4 p.m. And then our first day, the next day, is a day at sea. And then we do all kinds of things. We and then and we'll I think our first stop. Oh yeah, and we'll have sewing machines. We're going to be doing a lesson and everything. We're bringing the sewing machines with mm -hmm. us, and um, we're teaching a class. We'll put kids together for those of you that want kids, or you bring your own stuff. But again, we want you to kind of pack light and come and and then. Our first stop is Ketchikan, and at Ketchikan, we're meeting up with Chris and Janine Madewell. Some of you guys might remember yeah. them or know them. He's my brother from another mother, <laughs> and um, uh, they have a little uh, sewing machine repair business in Ketchikan, and he is a he's a police officer. I don't, uh, and he's done a couple of things. I don't know if currently I should know this if he is state patrol in Alaska or if he is still working security at the airport. It's one or the other. He's done both, and mm -hmm. he is going to be our tour guide. Yeah. We have our own I'm little excited. bus with just us on it, and we are going to, this is Sunday, so the quilt shops will be open, unless you are with us. Mm -hmm. And then they're taking Going us to, to the quilt it. shops, and then there's even going to be like a little quilt show, little super cool. thing, the, the guild excited. meeting us there. And then, um, anyway, and then we'll have our own private room. This is on a celebrity mm -hmm. cruise ship. Our own private room with the sewing machines that only we have access to. So you can leave your stuff in there and you can sew in the evenings or early in the morning mm -hmm. before other excursions. And then we'll have our days at sea. So anyway, and we're doing it as a fundraiser for the Hood River Museum. Mm -hmm. And so um, anyway, and I think right now, here's the other thing we should mention, is that right now, um, if, so we have the people that have signed up, and then we have people that are kind of on the inquiry list that have gotten all the information but hasn't made the decision. If all of those people make the decision to go, we are We're full. full. Mm -hmm. So if you are kind of on the fence thinking, I'm not sure, again, it's in mm -hmm. August, um, it is possible that the next time you think about it, it will be too late. Want to sh that yeah. happened with our Bali tour. Yeah. Going, oh. so and at the last minute, bummed. people like that last, like two weeks before. It's too late. Okay, I think I'm going to go. You can't go now. It's full. And yeah. so um, the same thing will happen with Alaska. So make your decision. Come with us. Mm -hmm. And if nothing else, just to hang out with Brianna's kids. <laughs> They're pretty fun. <laughs> Share some little nana time. So <laughs> They're pretty fun. They are so yeah. much fun. So yes. much fun. So um, and you can see, the, of course, the cruise information yeah. um, on the website. There's a cruise with us. And you'll see Alaska. Yeah. And then you'll see Egypt. Mom and dad are going oh, yeah, to yeah. Egypt in October. And it's just a, it's a land, water, air kind of a tour. It's all of it. It's all but things you want to see. It's just fun. There's no sewing lessons. Yeah. It's just traveling with friends and a group. Um, and, of course, the guys at RGE Travels are going to be your mother ducks. And <laughs> they'll get you where you need to go. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it really is fun to travel in a group because yeah. then, you know, um, um, it's just it's just really good. Good because then you have somebody to pal around with. You yep. get to meet some new people. There's security in numbers, you know, and somebody who's watching out for you and you're not trying to hail a cab and you're not really sure where you're going. Right. You just follow in behind Ray and John and they take you, take us where we're supposed to go. And, um, uh, what's the other thing about that is a lot of people have had questions and are sort of worried about the idea of going to Egypt and to Jordan, but um, we have been talking about that a little bit, and um, it is true that there are some refugees that are there, some um, Palestinians, but that's the thing that they're saying. Mm -hmm. um, tourism is still active, alive, and well, and it's how they make their money. And now more than ever, they need additional resources for the refugees that are there. And so, um, so anyway, mm -hmm. so. Uh, and they all feel like it is safe, and gosh, maybe by then we can just pray for a ceasefire and yep. the whole thing will be over with. But anyways, that will be in October. Um, all right, let's see. Oh my gosh, now let's look at our notes. I always tend to worry about the time, and you guys always say, don't worry about the time. We're just yeah. visiting. Coffee with friends. Sometimes we're chattier than other times. Um, let's see. So let's talk about um, one thing that I wanted to mention is the temperature quilt. So oh, that yeah. is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I have not yet, I mean, other than the first one, because you guys did that in Friday when I was on Friday. 
in February while I was gone. But what time is it at 11? It's at 11 Pacific time, Pacific time which might be weird for some of you. Um, but I will be recording it while we do our Zoom and then edit that so it's just kind of short and simple so you can get the rundown of what we chatted about here on YouTube without having to attend the Zoom. Um, we know we can Zoom it and broadcast live on YouTube and all of that, but we have enough internet issues sometimes that I'm not going to try it. I'm just going to record it, edit the video, post it on YouTube for you guys to see in case you can't attend it. Um, 11 Pacific time kind of seems like a weird number, but we have people in Australia and Germany and the UK who are watching us and hanging out with us. And that is the best time. We did a lot of research yeah. to figure out. So okay. nobody's up at the crack of dawn Early or super late. morning, late. late at night, and I think it is 6 a.m. somewhere and 9 p.m. somewhere else. Which didn't and seem so, so horrible. So it's kind of a weird time, but it helps kind of for everybody. Yeah. Um, but it will be recorded, and I'll put it on YouTube this time. So, yeah, we're going to talk about I Honestly, I have not even cut my fabric yet. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a month behind already. So but the idea is once a month to get together for just a short period of time. I mean, we're looking at 45 yeah. minutes just to kind of chit-chat, sew along, you know. And the reason that it's Zoom is because then we you can, can see. see each other. We can mm -hmm. see what you're working on. We can talk about we want to do door prize drawings of who was the who had the coldest um, day in February, who had the warmest day, mm -hmm. you know, kind of meet some people kind of, you know, around the globe that are doing this with us yeah. and, and do some sewing. So that's the idea is kind of a monthly support group to be working on your on your temperature cold because now, okay, no big deal. It's March 7th. We still have we got lots of time. Hundreds of days lots left of before, you know, we have to worry about it. But, you know, we'll want to be kind of thinking about yes. it and finalizing our pattern and that sort of thing. But and we'll be we'll meet every single month and every month it's the first, first Thursday, Thursday of the month. Mm -hmm. And where do they find the link for it? Um I will link it in the description below on this video. Okay. Or you can also search temperature quilt on our website and it has all of the links. You'll notice that there's a red line that says, hey, call the shop because you can't purchase this. It's not for sale. It's just a link. It's just the easiest way to get that information to you guys. So if you scroll down um, and in the description of that product, the temperature quilt, you'll see um, the link, you'll see everything you need to go, the passcode, the phone number if you're just gonna call in, whatever that is. You'll see all of that information there. That is the same link we will use every single time until we're done with our temperature quilt okay. adventure. So even if you want to print that off, save it, put it on a post-it note, whatever, we will use it every single time. Um, and it's funny too, because it's Denise's Zoom yes, account, it will right? come up So it as, doesn't say fabric patch. It's going to say like Woodward or something. Mm -hmm. And I put that in there too. Don't be worried. I'll, we'll be on the other end. But yeah, you'll see as you log in and you'll see that. But um, that is just, yeah, the same code. We'll do it every single time. They just have a bigger account than we do to be able to have unlimited people, a, right? Quite a few, yeah. We Which just have as fun. many people as we really want. The other thing is if you're part of Facebook if you and you're not going to be able to attend the Zoom or you want to share a picture of what you're working on, go ahead and add that to our face. We have a temperature quilt Facebook group. I'll add the link also in the description for you. And you can put the pictures because I think in our Zoom thing, I'll share my screen. So those of you, there's a lot of people who aren't on Facebook, which yeah. is totally fine. But yeah. I'll share some of those pictures because it is a open Facebook group. So anybody who is a quilter who's doing a temperature quilt, still working on one, working on with, one with us, we can share ideas, patterns, inspiration, whatever. <clears throat> so I thought I'd probably um, share my screen, screen tomorrow and we could see some of those. Okay, and good. I do know some of you guys have been emailing me pictures. I will post those onto Facebook yeah. tomorrow morning so we can see those. And I have time. a couple of those also and I'll show those too. So, so if yeah. you if you feel like you can't come and you want to send a picture or a question, yeah, um, you can that. email that to us. So email cindy at fabricpatch.net and it's cindy with an I or info. are you going to check it or info? In the, no, I'm not. <laughs> Don't send it. Don't send it. <laughs> Ghost town. No. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. All right. So temperature quilt tomorrow, um, 11 a.m. Yes. Pacific time, whatever time that is for you guys. Um, I'm kind of excited. I'm excited to see. This is my first time doing it with you fun. guys. So I'm excited to see everybody's yeah. out. And I'm hoping for no judgment as to how much I've got done. <laughs> <laughs> Nor <laughs> I. <laughs> I don't focus on how much she has not gotten done. None. None. 
All right, let's see. So um, the other thing, so we have a couple of things that are sort of um, follow up that we've been talking about for a couple of months. And one is um, book club. So man, I'm telling you, the biggest, um, you know, that whole thing, every once in a while we'll bring something up and then we always say, oh my gosh, that broke the internet because it's yeah. all anybody is talking about on comments or on emails to us mm -hmm. um, or people who have my phone, even the texting things. Um, it is books. Books. Sure. So it's kind of funny because I think that it's true that we have a unique customer base where we all have like the same personality. <laughs> it is. Or maybe not personality. You guys probably aren't quite as crazy. You but can pick a quilter out though. You can. You can. Quilters are super, super kind, right? Mm -hmm. Because I think that... Um, you know, you make these presents that you give right. away that cost you it's hundreds the of dollars. Giving. It's a craft. Yes, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. And I think that the things that we tend to have as um, as additional hobbies all tend to be fairly similar. It seems like we all have kind of a love, or most of us have a love of flowers, gardening, maybe cooking, or at least eating and reading. And so it seems like that's. I mean, you can pick out a quilt. It's mm -hmm. like, what are your hobbies? Oh, those were things. <laughs> um, and some of you guys are super crazy. Maybe you jog, you know, or something, but no. Uh -huh. uh, I, I would don't. have to be chased <laughs> by something mighty scary. <laughs> I'm going to turn around and fight. <laughs> no. What? You're not going to fight. You're going to fight and go. I'm not going to fight. I'm going to fight and go. Yeah, that's exactly what. <laughs> I'm just going to hug you. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to surprise you by giving you a hug. <laughs> are you hungry? <laughs> I, I feel like this is a hangry emotion. <laughs> Do you need a snack? <laughs> That's what I got my purse. I'm not running. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, so the books, it's kind of fun because um, people keep suggesting. And so I've been writing them down of who is suggesting the book. And, um, and I have them like in order and have way too many books to read and not enough time. But I do, I, I finish quite a few and we've shared with you guys before that the secret is audiobooks. And yeah. so many of you guys have said, thank you so much. And, you know, even, um, Linda who reads all the time said, yeah. um, you know, thank you so much for re uh, reintroducing me to audiobooks because back when audiobooks was first a thing, well, it was, you would check it out of the library on a CD. A cassette. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so while you were in your car. I mean, I remember many times driving up to the cabin. Uh -huh. You would buy audiobooks. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then sitting there listening. It's like, wait, wait, okay. I can't turn it off yet. And, mm -hmm. um, and you know, or you'd have to have your Walkman or whatever. So it's just so nice that we carry this with us and we have little Bluetooth speakers yep. and, you know, you can listen in the car and I'm always driving somewhere or I'm always cleaning or outside. And so it's easy enough to listen. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's not the idea of physically sitting and reading um, five or six books a month would be almost impossible for me. Right. Um, not almost. It absolutely would be impossible for me to mm -hmm. sit for that long and read. But to listen, it is it's uh, it's five to six books a month is what I can kind of finish. Mm -hmm. And so it's been really nice. And so, um, and we've talked about this before, but again, if you're new here, Libby, um, L-I-B-B-Y is a free app and you just put in your library card from your local library mm -hmm. and anything that they have, you can just borrow them. You can check those books out, listen to them or read them. You can put them on your Kindle, whatever you prefer. Mm -hmm. and then check them back in and it doesn't cost you anything. So it's super, super nice. What I find though is that everybody else wants the same books that I want <laughs> and I'm on a five week hold or a, and then all of a sudden I'll have four, four books. Oh my God, it's like, oh, oh, I just feel worse. so rich. <laughs> You know, and then it's like, oh, you only have this book for 21 days. We're like, yeah, that's nothing. Plenty I get time. time. I got Plenty that. of time. I got that. Because I always feel like I have to have one, at least one in the queue. I feel super nervous when I'm finishing one and I don't have another one. Yeah. But, and just speaking of that, so we'll just mention for a minute and then we'll talk about book club. But I just finished um, Marge and not just Marge. A couple of people had recommended um, Wish You Were Here. Mm -hmm. And... Um, uh, also by uh, uh, Jody Picoult. I like her. She is one of my favorite authors. Her, Kristen Hanna, um, who are some of the other ones? I have like my top five that I've read almost everything. So this Wish You Were Here, I'm just going to recommend it for a moment. It was really, really good. I am going to say that on the Fifty Shades of Grey scale... You know, it's probably about a 20. I mean, there's a whole bunch of that kind of stuff going on. And, 
you know, which is fine. I just, you know, find that I get red faced or that's the moment that Brian comes walking in <laughs> and, uh, you know, my phone is blaring. It's like, oh, <laughs> stop it. What are you listening to? <laughs> and then he's going to rethink, oh, maybe I should try that are again. Are you getting a virus on your phone? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> but anyway, um, but um, but it was really, really good. I think what's funny about her as an author is that she does so much research. Yeah. I love it, love it, love it, because um, she talked about um, the the heroine or whatever in this. It's not was well, she wasn't really a heroine, but the main female lead in in that book was a art history major, and she worked at um, um, Sotheby's. Is that the auction house? The oh, art uh-huh, auction house, uh-huh. is that what it was? Sotheby's? Sotheby's? Mm-hmm. And um, anyway, all of the stuff I learned about art oh, was yeah. fantastic about To Lose the Track. And there was a bunch of them that... Um, oh, Pa's calling me. Click. Um, uh, um, anyway, it was just interesting. And then she also talks about the Galapagos Islands. And you really oh, feel cool. like it's like a tour guide that you're listening to. She just describes things so well. So I love the fact that she does so much research that you're not only being entertained by this story, but you also are learning something. And and I'll tell you um, uh, uh, what it's about. And you kind of don't really realize until the end when she gets into a little bit more detail. There's a whole lot of COVID information in it and for me that was the only part that was a little difficult to listen to well being medical Um, being medical and i think also um um it was not a good time i think for any of us sure you know and she wrote this book back in 2021 so it was right kind of at Mm. the end and so it was just as she was dealing with it but what was really good was at the end of the book she um talks about that a little bit and about that um um, solitude that all of us felt and, you know, that maybe we should live our life without um, waiting, you know, go yeah. ahead and just experience things as if it's the last time. And it's very, very good. It's a really nice story. It ends really well. Um, um, highly, highly, highly recommended. But just if that's a little bit of a trigger for you, the COVID thing, um, there's a lot of statistics. It was, it, It's almost like a documentation of what Americans went through during that time and there's a lot of statistics regarding what was going on in New York because her um, the the male lead in the book is a New York doctor oh okay highly recommended wish you were here very 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 good so um, Marge had recommended it and like three or four of you guys it's like oh no it's on my list it's on my list and so anyway I um, I love everything that Jody Picoult um, writes I think she is very very talented and I don't know how she um, cranks them out because I, sh- the amount of research that she has to do, she works pretty hard. She, Barbara, she does yeah, that. it's pretty good because somebody had said once that, and I think this is true, that everybody has one best-selling novel in them. Everybody, mm-hmm. everybody has a story. I'm in their head. Alan. I think I do. I someday I'm gonna. I, I have kind of an interesting. St- I mean, it's not a personal story, but just this storyline in my head. But um, how does she have so many? Yeah, and so many of wonder. hers are different. So. There's one book that I really, really want to read is um, Mad Honey. Have you seen that uh-huh. one? It's kind of a new one, and it's also by Jodi Picoult. And um, I don't know exactly what it's about. Um, uh, it's a little bit of a mystery. Uh, and she always has these weird twists that all of a sudden, halfway through the book, man, you never see it coming with her. <laughs> When it's like, wait, what? <laughs> and even the same thing with Wish You Were Here. Halfway halfway through the book, probably three quarters of the way through the book is like, wait, wait a minute. minute. <laughs> wait a minute. You don't even, you're not even thinking anything. You're not, and all of a sudden, boom, she just gets you. And so apparently this mad honey has That's that kind one. of a thing. But it's also, I feel, it's also about a beekeeper and her family. And so I love the idea that I'm going to learn, learn about beekeeping, about bees. I love bees. Bees mm-hmm. are my spirit bug. Yeah. I love bees. And so, um, so I really want to read that. I, um, so that's kind of on my list, which sort of brings us to what we started talking about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Book club. So I've done a little bit of research since we talked about it. And, um, and I feel like I am kind of ready for this. So, um, so we've been talking about a way that we can share this information together, Hello. and um, Hi. 
and do uh, do our own book club. So we're thinking that uh, uh, step number one is to find a platform. And yep. so I know that not everybody is on Facebook. I think there are a lot. There's Book Talk, which is on TikTok. Mm -hmm. you, you don't want to be there. Um, there is Facebook groups. And I have to say that for me to have even one more Facebook group would be difficult for me because I don't communicate with the book group groups that I belong to now. I have a gardening <clears throat> one that I belong to. We have the cruisers, the Facebook mm -hmm. cruisers. I need to check that more often. And I'm just a horrible millennial. Yeah, she's Awful. not social media. I, yeah. No, if I didn't have to have a cell phone, I would not. Yeah, and I think there's so much. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do pen and paper and stamps. Guys. Yes. That's what yes. I want. No emails, no text messages. No. Just find me or send it's me It's hard email. because it is. It's hard because there's so much, and yeah. you have to check all of those platforms all the time. And, um, yeah, and I think that all of the funny little phishing and um, scamming and things that well, go off. Well, I think off, it's hard. The internet has changed so much that so much is just false information. Yeah. Um, because you feel like you can maybe trust this person or, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like there's so much not good that yeah. you're better off just do your own thing. Yeah. So I think what I would like to do, I think something that is the easiest thing is that we're just going to stick with YouTube because sure. I think that obviously that's how you guys found us. That's how we still communicate right now. We don't have to add one more platform to this. So I think what we'll do is um, we're going to do a, um, and we'll organize it just a little bit more um, and we'll be ready for you with a packet um, next week, next Wednesday. But we're going to do an email list so that we'll have one big email group um, so that we can communicate with you guys. Um, oh, like special newsletters. Special, and stuff. A yeah. special newsletter. And I've looked at a couple of sites. I'm just sort of looking at that. I don't want it to be something that costs anything. I and that's what they say is, oh, for only $200 a year, this is what we're going to do to support you. And you charge mm -hmm. your people $20. Well, I don't want to charge anybody anything. Right. I don't think that seems right to me at all. So I'm still researching that a little bit. But, um, but just a way to be able to email everybody. Um, and some of the kind of fun things, because there's things that I believe to and things that I know. I mean, um, sometimes there's author um, uh, talks and podcasts and yeah. that sort of thing. And so I can share information, share articles. We can vote on what book we want to read. Uh, we can keep yeah, in touch by yeah doing polls and um, keep in touch by sharing little information about what book we're reading. And it's like, hey, you know, what did you think so far of this? And then we'll have our questions and then we'll do a, a Zoom and I think it just needs to be on Zoom that will then, or it can be live YouTube. Yeah. Probably live YouTube. Yeah, because then we'll have instant instant comments. Mm -hmm. Live YouTube, and then we'll do that once a month when we discuss the book. And I think what we should do is we should do it at my house, and it should be the three of us. So, mm -hmm. Chase, you're going to have to read a book <coughs> with us. So, it'll be Excuse Tracy me. and Brianna and I. And I think mm -hmm. of Marge. I'm sure Marge would do it. Mm -hmm. um, Denise tells us she is not a reader, but maybe we can convince her I to if read. She had, if she listened, do you think? A lesson, audio? yeah. Think, maybe if she did that's it on about audio. the only way I can do it. Is on, well, that's what we were just saying yeah. is that, yeah, who has time to sit with a book? Yeah. I'd yeah. like to do that. But I would like to do that. There's something real special about, about doing it, that. I right? love it. I love the smell of the book. I love yeah. holding it. But yes. well, one of my friends just gave me the whole series for Outlander. Oh, oh, like this oh. Was just thick. oh. Yeah. So. her arms are doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you put all the books together. Yeah. It's, yeah. I watched it. <laughs> you watched it? Right. Yeah. The book is always but better. It is. They say better. the book is so much better. I wonder if they probably have it on that. I think the book on every... On, I have I so yet too. to find a movie better than that's book. better than the book. And I in fact, know, sometimes it makes Jamie me isn't mad. Hard to look at either. That's true. <laughs> There's other better true. than that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He's yeah. So so anyway, so we've got it all fi kind of figured out. We have just a couple of little details that we'll do because what we need to do before you guys start emailing me, <laughs> I have to have all of that ready so that you can sign up. 
and then you'll sign up for the newsletter just like you sign up for our newsletter, uh -huh. right? And it goes into that because what happens... Start, what I'll probably end up doing is when we have it all figured out, I will end up putting up a different register part so that your emails all funnel in. Because right now, when you sign up for our newsletter on our website, those emails funnel into a special folder for me, um, which mm -hmm. makes it super easy to cut and paste and send whatever off. So I'll do the same thing for book club. Once we have that ready, there will be a book club tab. I'll put Can on our you website. do that now? I could. I'll put a little <coughs> book club register tab on our website. Do that now because I just don't know where it's supposed to go yet. But yeah, if you can do that now, and I'll make it all easy of your you. emails into a special little folder. So when we're ready with information, all that jazz will at least be started. I'll do that. I'll also link that little register part in the description below if that's easier for you, or just search book club two words on our website and you'll find the put your email here goodness excellent okay good 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 and i might um, also put a poll so that we know what our readers like to read you know i'll put some genres on oh, there yes and you can poll and step kinda, number four. because no. well and one more thing about the whole email thing is that if you email me or you call and say will you put my email in oh. it doesn't always work very well because what will happen is it somehow, it, this was explained to me once before by an IT person, that when you sign up for an email, um, it understands your server. And so sometimes if we sign you up, it will actually come to ours first and then go to yours, and then you automatic your computer thinks that it's spam. Yeah. That's why oftentimes when you guys buy a downloadable pattern from us, because it's kind of an automatic thing that comes from our server, it goes into your spam file. Mm -hmm. But if you physically go in and sign up and put your name in there, then um, your computer knows that it's not spam. So that's the best way to do it. So let's start doing that. Then we can start doing, and then we can even create our own newsletter from yep. that. So before we figure out where else it'll go, we can at least have all of those things down. Okay. Because, so step number one is platform. So it will be YouTube newsletters and live YouTube once a month. We'll have to figure out a date and a time. And I kind of almost still figure that 11 o'clock thing so that our Everybody Germany, can. UK, Australian friends all kind of know, you know, what we're doing, but we can figure out a day of the week that we would meet at 11 o'clock. I feel like we could do some day drinking at 11 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock somewhere. We already yeah. know that, right? It's just it's 9 p.m. somewhere. It's just grape juice. It's it's grape oh, juice. yeah. Fermented? <laughs> well, you know, if it's not out too long, you don't always know until it's too late. <laughs> because, because, so Tracy, you have to help us, because the other thing is we have to, the next thing we have to do is we have to name our book club. Oh, name that book club. Oprah's Ooh. book club is already taken. Yeah. So, in the comments, that's our duty. That's there our duty. Go. Find a name. I have a few. So, I'm going <laughs> to... Suggestions. Call play. F.P. Uh, Fabric Couch. No, I don't. Uh -huh. F.P. <laughs> F.P. So, uh, treat your shelf. Treat, oh, that's Ooh. nice. Shelf. Treat your shelf. shelf. Yeah. Treat uh -huh. your shelf. Mm -hmm. Book mm -hmm. club. Um, namaste, home and read. Yeah. Oh, I like that one. Namaste, home, namaste. And read. Namaste, mm -hmm. home and read. Namaste, home and read. The Grim Readers. Okay, maybe not. That's ah. funny. For Rough. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Wines and Spines. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's good. Right? That's a good one. Right? Or, if you'd rather, um, Novel Tea Book Club. Oh, novel T E A, yeah, T -E -A. novelty. If you're more of a tea drinker, I'm a tea drinker. Than drinker. Words. Mm -hmm. Novelty, mm -hmm. novelty book club. Or if you're more of a coffee drinker, we got books and beans. <laughs> books and beans. <laughs> books and beans. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds oh. bad. <laughs> it does that. <laughs> okay, let's just we'll just we'll just put a line through that one. <laughs> I get that no one. books and beans. <laughs> Fine. Um, and no grim readers. We, okay. Um, the other one was Kindles and Candles. But oh! Do you like that one? That's not bad. I know, but you know what I think, though, I is like that um, I'm too old to light candles. Read by candlelight? <laughs> That's hard. So I can happen. listen by candlelight. But so. if you have a candle, you have it backlit. But the other thing is that I sometimes will light a candle just for fun, and I worry the whole time. I like cannot relax like... <laughs> what is the, the cat smell? Like? <laughs> is the cat gonna catch your yeah. tail on fire? You know, I I'm too old. I I I'm too. It stresses me. <laughs> 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 and I used to be that person.
person probably when I was younger, I probably left the house with the candle burning, you know. <laughs> but now it's like I don't know. I'm too old to worry about that stuff. So okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take out candles and candles because it, it stresses me out. <laughs> but um, anyway, so think of a name. Think of what our name okay. could be, and we'll have a little naming contest. And then what we'll do is we'll have a prize for the name, name. that wins. Or if you love one that I've picked, I vote for that. That's okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take a prize. Yeah. You know, whatever. Um, but anyway, so let's come up with a name, and then we'll do the... And then also in the comments, so tell us um, a suggested name. And tell us a day of the week. I feel yeah. fairly confident that it is going to have to be at 11. And it just will help everybody... Um, because then that over. way people aren't, I mean, I always feel bad when we do live YouTubes and it, just before yeah. we sign off, somebody goes, it's 3 a.m. here, but I'm still awake. It's yeah. like, oh, it makes me sad. Mm -hmm. So, um, so. And it so, can be on the weekend too. It could be on I the mean, weekend. We could do a Saturday. Sundays I know are hard because of church, but mm -hmm. you know, knowing what time it is, Saturdays are maybe kind of hard because of, you know, yard work and different things, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, Tuesdays are impossible for us. So um, not two days for us, but, um, but any other day we'll kind of see yeah. what happens. And I know that it's not always going to work for everyone, but, but it'll always maybe. be on YouTube. We'll have a whole new category. Yeah. We will save it. That is yeah. our name of our book club playlist. Yeah. And, um, you can always go back and watch it. That's and I'm really excited about one of my favorite things that we did was go to book club. You mm -hmm. know, it was always so much fun. The other thing though, too, about book club is that, um, the only, my only, criticism if that were a thing about book club is that um patty the the um mm -hmm. bookstore employee friend that used to run it um liked us to um reach a little bit and she would pick books that she thought we would probably never p pick yeah i don't like that idea um i um at all and the reason that i don't like that idea is because i find reading entertaining and every once in a while, I might find a book that I might start and um, just, I don't want to finish it for right. whatever reason. I either don't like the subject matter. I don't like the main characters at all. Um, maybe I don't think that it was well written, um, but I think that the entertainment factor, I don't have a lot of time for entertainment, so mm -hmm. I don't want to waste my time. So I don't feel like we should pick things that are of genres that we don't like. So I'm just going to tell you what I think. I think I would never pick a horror book. Oh. I don't want uh, slashing. Sorry, I'm, for not that. Gonna, I'm not going to read it. She can't even read Stephen King. I'll give it she a hot second. read early Stephen King. <laughs> no. Horror oh, is just baby. not. And then the other thing for me is I'm not like a bodice ripper. You know, I don't mind if there's some, there's yeah. always going to be some sex in there, but I don't like, like. The majority of it. Yeah. Yeah. If it's just major smut, I am not a fan of mm -hmm. that. I just don't know. I feel so red faced the whole time I'm reading it. I just feel like that's just private and I don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> you should not be talking to me at all. That's your best. I am um, best, you know, baby. <laughs> Why? I don't know why. I think it's, but I think it maybe it's my age. I wonder if you guys feel the same way. But do you you feel the same it way? Doesn't, do you? It, doesn't it doesn't bother, bother you. You can I, read it and just I, yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, How about you, Tracy? How well, do you feel I, about reading? Did smut? I tell you when I started to read the um, Fifty Shades of Grey? I was no. on vacation. Uh -uh. I got so sick. I mean, I started <gasps> shivering in bed and can you guys hear her? Up and and uh, Tracy like, doesn't okay, do it. God, I'll quit reading. <laughs> Not crazy about it. See, I've about never it. read Fifty Shades of Grey. I haven't even um, finished a that movie. Might. So oh. for me, I'm not hard. Oh, the movie is not. I watched the movie after I read the book, and the movie was hard. But I mean, it was soft porn basically. But the book was. Yeah. So. I don't Very mind graphic. it, but I'm also, I prefer fantasy, and there's always a little bit of, you know, spicy scenes in there, but I don't feel like it's too much. So I don't really mind, I don't necessarily mind it. Yeah. But we'll see what goes. Okay. And I think sometimes, Somewhere, you know, I think sometimes when we read them, we're going to say, a bit. yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I also think like sometimes it's hard because I don't like that kind of language. Oh, that's true. And how do you describe it without using language that I don't really want to hear? That's true. And so I think that's part of it. But like, what was that book that I read a couple months ago? Archer's Voice. 
Have you read that yet? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. I need to read that one. I, it's so good. I'm kind of not so much a romance person so much, but, and it was romance, but it was also, there was a lot of intrigue and it was a really, and I'm not a romance person because it always is like two thirds smut. Sure. Um, and that one was just enough. It was just enough that, you know, you knew it was happening and then, oh, it was done. And, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I liked that. I thought it was so well written. I really, really liked that book. That was another five star read from Archer's voice. Mm -hmm. I think that everybody talks about that one, but um, but anyway, so um, so that's what I kind of think. I think so. That's historical. Why so yeah, let's we'll try know. to pull it. So on the website, when you can um, put in your email address, you want to use what for do you like to read book club. I'll also put a poll on, and you can. I think you can choose more than one. Choose what you would like to read, and then yeah. we're gonna keep away from the ones that have yeah most ratings. Is what yeah. we're gonna pull yeah. from least ratings. Sorry. And every Hopefully once in a while we might like throw it. in some weird things because the other thing that was suggested is the idea of having a poll each month to let you pick what we're going to read. That's so a good idea as too. soon as we get enough Absolutely. information and we kind of know what we're doing, we know what we're calling we'll it. We will put a, a we'll put a newsletter out and we'll we'll choose like three or four to choose from, and the we'll choose the number one book, and then we might even have an honorable second mention because I can read more than two books. In That's a, a good month. idea. And then that way you guys can pick what we're going to read, and it isn't always what I pick. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I like that idea. And then that'll be good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, and then let's see. So find a platform. We've done that. Pick a name. You guys have to do that. Um, pick a size. I feel like we could be unlimited. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, I, I think if we're going to do YouTube live, we don't have to say we're going to limit it to 50, but you know, or whatever. I mean, it's, we, we can, and all we really need is to read comments. And I feel right. like we're pretty good. We've done enough live things that we can do that and have a lively discussion with us. You know, we can, I kind of even feel like I know where we would do it around, you know, my table. And that way you can see all of us that participate and, um, yeah. And um, anyway, so I guess the size could be unlimited. And then we'll stay connected through email and through newsletters mm -hmm. um, as we go along and then meet monthly. We'll have to pick a day. And again, what we'll do is after we hear from you in the newsletter, mm -hmm. um, we'll yep. make a decision. And I'll also that. have the day as a poll also. So there'll be two questions for you to answer your genres, what you prefer to read, and um, what day works best for you. So those will also be polls. I think it will be easier to keep track of all in one place on our website. And then we also should pick a book for, and I think maybe our first book, book I think, let's just pick it. Um, which I know is not the way, but so for future books, maybe we'll do. A um, so what I'll do is also on. Well, we'll wait till the newsletter is ready to go, and then we'll issue um, a newsletter like on what, like the fifteenth of this month. What's Give today? us a week. Sixth. Yeah, fifteenth. Yeah, yeah, fifteenth. So we'll send it out on the fifteenth, and then um, with with like three options for them to vote. Yeah, and then I think we should just start our first um, book club of the month thing, I think we should start in April. Because it would give people, if they wanted to go read the book, to get purchase the book. the book, if they're waiting for it on Libby, sometimes 15 days is not enough for you to be able to get that off yeah. of Libby. Well, see, that's the other thing. Right, right. Sometimes it's up so to So I think weeks. on the 15th, we're going to send out our first newsletter. That's going to say, um, here are the book options. And maybe, I think you're right, we should just pick one. We should just pick one because um, I've kind so of already. So one. I have one. I've been thinking. Of. Yeah. <laughs> and and here was the funny thing is I thought of a couple of them. I thought of the women because I think that some of you guys have already bought it. I've already bought it. I have a hard copy in that box that I saw that just arrived. <laughs> um, so the women was one, but that hardcover copy on Amazon is twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, paperback for some reason is twenty six. It is available on Libby, but I'm still like four weeks out. So I thought, mm -hmm. oh heck with it. I don't want to wait. I want to go ahead and read the book, and then. Um, uh, it's not on Amazon. It wasn't available on Kindle. So I thought, well, we can't really mm -hmm. pick um, the women because too many people are waiting for that. And the idea that you have to buy the book for 20 bucks, I feel kind of bad about that. Um, and then there was another one that I liked um, that is called Love Song, Love Song for Ricky Wild. That is a brand new book. It just came out um, on February 6th of this year. It's like a month old. Mm -hmm. And so that looked kind of good, but same thing. I think that on um, Libby, it's probably going to be hard to get. Mm -hmm. um, 
It is available in paperback and online. Um, and then that brings us to Mad Honey. Um, Mad, Honey. Mad Honey sounds good. I think it sounds really good because who doesn't love bees? Bees are one of our top selling fabrics. Mm-hmm. I think people really like bees. Um, Jody Picoult, I mean, I feel like, I mean, I. I feel going into it, I can never imagine giving her less than four, sta- four stars. Yeah. So I feel like I could read, you know, I wouldn't have to be embarrassed that I, you know, it won't be a repeat of September House. <laughs> um, so I feel pretty good about it. And I did look, and Mad Honey is available. I just ordered it, and I think that it was like, I think the hard copy was like $15 or something. And then it's also already available in paperback, already available in Kindle, and it's also on. Libby. And if you are from a more metropolitan area, you might have better your options. Your Libby options yeah, be could be better. For us, I mean, it's a We sometimes small only library. have six copies. Yeah. And it doesn't yeah. matter how popular So we're it waiting is. a long time. So mm-hmm. for that reason, I feel like it should be Mad, Mad Honey. Mad Honey. And also not something that maybe everyone has read. I mean, the women, probably you guys have already beat me and you guys have already read that That's one. True. And there's a bunch of them out. But Mad Honey looks really, really good. Do you, you agree? Does that sound like something you'd mm-hmm. read? If yes. it's about bees, I think Tracy's it. Tracy, she's on the phone. <laughs> she's getting that one on Libby. <laughs> see if it's available. <laughs> And the other question, this is totally kind of left field, but I have tried to be looking into Amazon's Audible. I do not understand. So if someone who's watching oh. uses Amazon Audible, will you email me? Because how does that work? You have to I pay don't a su- know. subscription? I don't know. And I don't also know. I can't tell. I'm pretty sure it's probably connected to Prime. And I am willing to pay $100 a year to read as many books as I want. But my main question... And not wait. Right. Because that's a problem with Libby's. You have to wait. My other question is, am I having to purchase the audiobook? So is it going to cost me $2? Six weeks wait right now. Six, Six weeks. weeks. Yes. Well, that's okay. We're not going to start until we're... You might um, have to buy it. April. <laughs> So that's my question about Audible is, I just don't understand. So there's someone who does, if you'll email me with your subject line, Amazon Audible, I'll be able to find it. But um, that's my question is, is it a subscription thing? Does it, is it free on any book that is under Audible or does it charge, I have to purchase it for two to seven dollars to listen to Audible? So that's my question. I've looked into it because there's a lot more options on Amazon than our Libby app sometimes. So if you are an Audible Amazon reader, will you enlighten me? Yeah. I've got questions. I mean, I do. I just don't understand, and I it want to. It seems to me that when I got my new phone, that was one of the apps I that they it. had suggested. And all I remember is that when I pay, I then get two free ones with my app. But Right. And I I'm know, like, on my Amazon that. account, I have points. Um, for every book oh, that you right. buy, you receive points oh, that are yeah. redeemable for At the audio. Time of those points, or, I don't know what. To, oh. So I believe it's part of the Audible and Amazon book reading thing. But I don't understand. So if you can email me, mm. I will. We will share it with everybody. But questions. So I want to know. I mean, I really like Libby because it doesn't cost me anything. I don't feel mm-hmm. guilty reading and listening to as many books as I want. Um, I would even be willing to do a subscription so I could even read more and different options that our library does not have because we have a very yeah. small, um, you know, it's not like L.A. County or anything like that. So that's just, I've got questions. I'll let you know. What I find out. Let me know. And um, let me know because the But Matt Honey thing- would be okay, I feel like... Um, you would have time to purchase it if you decided to purchase it. You'd have time to read it and put your notes onto paper so when we do talk about it at the end of April, it may not be freshly read, but you'll have your summary you can at least be notes. ready. Yeah. yeah. And I think that that's I think that's probably true. So let's mm-hmm. stick with Mad Honey. Let's just make a decision and stick with okay. it. The other thing too that I think is that I have actually ordered the hard copy because I keep doing this. I it's so backwards. I'll listen to the book and then I order it's like, "Oh, I really want Me that." Me too. Yeah. I do it too. Oh, oh, I, oh, I really want that one. I know. So I or like, like sometimes it's like, "Oh, I can't seem to find it anywhere." The other one that I ordered that just came was Ask for Andrea. It's supposed to be like the best thriller of uh, 2023, um, hands down. So I've not read it. It's not available on our Libby. Sure. And I thought, okay, I'm going to get it because at some point I will go on vacation again, and, and I can read it, or I'll be up at the cabin. Those are the two places that I can actually hold a book is yes. on a plane. The other thing you can do is maybe if there is someone local that you know watches us or your girlfriend next oh, door, yeah. be book buddies. Book buddies. 
where, okay. you know, oh, I'll buy this book this month. I'll read it and give it to you. And then if you buy, you know, whatever. Yeah. You could also. I think that, I think that Tracy's right, though. The big issue is that being able to listen to, to it. Yeah, I know. That's I how agree. I can get all of those books read is by listening to them. And it's funny, do not be do not be one of those people that say, oh well, listening to a book is not the same thing as reading it. Yeah, it totally it's is. Fantastic. It's totally the same thing. And in fact, it it's is. better. I mean, yeah. just because, you know, I'm not reading it and somebody is reading it to me, it's still absolutely the same thing. It I mean, how great. does a blind person read a book? I mean, I guess mm -hmm. you could do it. And I know thing. it's not for everybody because I know not everyone has the same Yeah. Yeah. same way of interpreting things. Yeah. Sometimes it is like, oh my gosh, I have to read it because I will retain nothing. Yeah. Or sometimes it's you can't see the movie in your head. And it's all, I mean, yeah, it's Dad all can't do it. Pa, yeah. can't, pa can't do it at all. Um, but it is funny that there's a lot of people that say, oh, it's not the same not the thing. Same. But right. my life does not allow me to sit right. for hours. And I get for children, like I like the idea of the audio book while you have the paper book in front yes. of you for the Who children. Who suggested that? Brilliant. Yeah. I Super love sweet. that. Um, but I do think for certain ages, like Eliza, I think she would really like the listening to it. Mm -hmm. But I think at her age, it's important. No, you need to physically have Age the book, eight. read the word words, see how to pronounce those words, because there's sometimes words that I have to re-listen to, whether it's because if it's an accent or whatever, it's like, wait, what is that word? Like, or you, I'm going to stop and look that word up. Yeah, I have a thesaurus. I also just purchased a new dictionary. Um, what I really, really like I like is, it. I love the, um, I listen to a lot of UK authors, and they just, they not only have really interesting words for things, because, you know, they yeah, don't say shoes. I'm listening to a one right now, and I love the words. I love mm -hmm. um, all that literature. You get just such good words yeah. I, from some of those yeah. um, authors where I feel like sometimes some of the American, it's probably what I'm reading, some of the American authors were a little lazy. And maybe yeah. it's just what, what I'm reading, but or maybe it's because yeah. I'm young authors. I don't know. But I agree. Yeah, the I words, love it. The, what, what is the word for tennis shoes? Run, no. Trainers. 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 The so the first time, the first time I heard them say trainers, I'm thinking trainers because trainers in in America it's like you know pull up panties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> spanks. Like, wait, what? He was in his trainers. Wait, he was in his trainers. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> what did I miss? So anyway, all of those fun little words that they use yeah, and I do um, too. are different, but but anyway, I I do like Audible books and. Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, so I feel like we're good, right? So yes. we have a plan. Ooh, I'm, I'm super excited. excited. And so uh, go ahead and do, go to the website, sign up for book club, do your polling for book club, because then on like the 15th, I'm going to put out our first newsletter that's going to okay. summarize all of this goodness. When we're talking the book, the book will be Mad Honey. Yes. Um, and I think, too, the other option with that is we could, you could go to your library and check it out. Absolutely. Do a physical one. But I think a lot of you guys are the same as us, that you listening to it is so much better. Linda was saying that, you know, she goes for a walk every morning. She walks for like an hour every morning, and that's when she good listens. For her. Yeah. 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 It's really good. I'd so. have to get myself out of bed before the children. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So, all you have to do today, go to the website, sign up, do your poll, comment below on what you think our book club name should be. <gasps> yeah, we need a name. Because we we're going to tell name. you on the 15th. So. And it should be cute. It's <laughs> Cheeky, for sure. Cheeky. Something cheeky. And I should mention, too, that Mad Honey is a 4.5 on Goodreads. So Ooh, the people I love who good have read, read reviews. Good read reviews are really, really good. So um, people have really liked it. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's good. So, okay. And that's why, too, I feel like um, um, having a hard copy you mm -hmm. know, book that you can annotate, I think, is kind of a good thing. All right. I feel really good that we have book club kind of ready to yes. go. Yes, excited. Good. And then, um, let's see, we've talked about retreat. We've talk you know, something kind of funny about the retreat, too, that I just want to mention is that with our little retreat center, we have Gate 17, which is four condos, 16 beds, mm -hmm. and this big, huge 2,200-square-foot um, room that we sew in. And then we have Daisy House, which is five bedrooms, ten beds, with um, a kind of a great room where they sew in two separate yep. um, locations. And then we have all of these little bungalows. And the little bungalows, we have four of them. They have queen bed, little kitchenette, little, you know, sitting room mm -hmm. or whatever, private patio. We use those as overflow 
if um, a group is a little bit larger or whatever. In our own retreats, we use those if somebody brings a spouse with them and mm-hmm. they just need a little bit more privacy than just a private room. Mm-hmm. Um, but the other thing that we never mentioned, and that was one of the things the gals this weekend said, well, you know, you should mention that more often. So people will email us a lot and say, hey, I'm Come going to, to be coming that through that way. So we have um, some viewers that live in British Columbia and they are coming down to the Tulip Festival in May oh. and then they're coming around. They want to know which mountain pass they should come over. And I said, oh, if you're coming in May, come across Stevens Pass so that you Beautiful. can go through Leavenworth and then mm-hmm. they're going to come stay with us and they're going to go up to the dam and then go home. So they're kind of making a little loop. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and then just this weekend, we had some gals from Indiana that flew to Seattle, went to Expo, drove over to see us, stayed with us for two days, and then they went down to Astoria, one of my oh, favorite places, Astoria. stayed in Astoria before they are trekking down the Oregon coast to go to San Francisco. They wanted to go Beautiful. across the Golden Gate Bridge, and then they're flying home to Indiana from um from San Fun. Francisco. So this happens a lot where people come to see us and and we have like this really nice friends and family rate that basically just, you know, pays for housekeeping. If you want to come and hang out with us, um, plan it ahead of time. So I know you're coming and I have a space for you, but you know, we have those bungalows and it's the only time that we use them. They are not on Airbnb. No. Nobody else knows about them. Um, they <laughs> we're can too be, picky. <laughs> we're too picky. We don't want any Airbnb people coming. We don't, you know, we only want our friends to come. And so anyway, if you're coming, we really, really enjoy yeah. it when um, when people come and visit. We love to meet people that have been watching for a while, that know mm-hmm. everybody. And, you know, even Pa, um, they had went over to Daisy House. They went over. I told them what the code was. So they went over to see Daisy House because I was still at work. And they wanted to get some soap. Sure. And so, um, cause we have some of the bar soap over there. Ooh, that's a secret. But anyway, we have a little stash of it over there anyway. Um, and they ran into paw <laughs> in the parking lot. And of course, you know, everybody A-O-B calls him <laughs> paw <laughs> and say, so you know. Oh yeah. Where are you from? And you know, he's, um, uh, he doesn't act like such a scared little bunny. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, won't, he doesn't ever want to be on camera, but you know, on vacations when we go on cruises it's, and stuff. He's and used to it. Here, he, yeah. He's, he likes to talk to people. He's, you know, kind of fun and it's no longer and how do they know him. who I am? Yeah. <laughs> they just why they keep calling knows. me Pa. And it's like, well, anyway, so he's he's totally used to it and he's okay and he likes to visit and he is used to the fact that they know everything about him. Yes, and that he wanders mm-hmm. around in his underwear all the time. Yeah, so he sees no problem with that. I think he knows when they yell Pa, they know ah, they're from us. Ah, they're one of ours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the funnest thing, so I wanted to mention that if you guys are planning summer travel, yeah, let's be know. anywhere near us, you know, yeah. plan on staying a little bit. Um, Soap Lake is just such a magical place. And, and our area of the state, well, the whole state of Washington, but our area is so beautiful. There's so much to see. Um, and then what was really, really nice is two gals from Montana. They were over... Um, um, doing a little retreat with friends over, um, I don't remember which island. I don't know if they said Woodby Island, somewhere over in Puget Sound. Mm-hmm. And then they knew that Expo was going on. Uh-huh. And instead of going to Expo, they said, no, we're waiting until the last day. And then they had, were leaving Saturday morning and they drove to us. Oh. So they arrived here by about noonish. They were here till we closed. And instead of going to Expo, they wanted to come oh, here. Cool. Just, I know. I wanted to be able to tell you that. And I thought, well, that makes me feel That's so cool. happy. <laughs> I just love that, that you would um, rather be here than the Expo. Expo. Yeah. That seems like such a nice thing. So it was really Very fun cool. to get to meet them. And they were on their way home from um, to Montana. Long drive. Long drive. Yeah. I'm not sure if they were stopping Very somewhere. Very cool. All right. Let me. Oh, I do have, I can see one more note. Do we want to, we should mention this. Yeah, you guys should know because we're not going to mention it. This would be the only time at the moment we're going to mention it. But we have good news and bad news. The Batik fabric that we stamped ourselves, the sagebrush, super fantastic. Um, you guys pretty much bought it all. It's gone. And it hasn't even arrived yet. It hasn't even gotten here yet. So we have ordered more. Yeah. Plus three additional colors that you've never seen yet. And I could show you, but I don't have it in front of me. <laughs> but, so I don't have to kill you. <laughs> so, 
then. I could get it. Let me get it. Okay. Let me get it. Um, get it. So we're going to end up putting up a new pre-order, essentially. So there are a few yards here and there of the stuff that's coming in currently that's still available. But hardly. I am going to put a new pre-order up for the next yardage of the pieces. You've already seen those five pieces plus these three. But we're not going to tell this to anybody else until it actually shows up. That being said, we are still waiting our 8 to 12 weeks because, of course, we've ordered it. They've got to talk to the guys in Bali, get it stamped, dyed, sun-dried, the whole shebang, brought back over, rolled. On the water. Rolled, and up to us. Up to us. So we know we're about 8 to 12 weeks from this point. So if you want to pre-order, you can. If you have pre-ordered those five pieces already, your sign, sealed, delivery, you're going to get those in a couple Any weeks. Anytime. They, Anytime. They should be here yeah. by April 1st yes. is what we so were that, told. So that pre-order is all hunky-dory. If you notice that there is a pre-order and these will not show up until... June 1st. June. Um, totally mm -hmm. different. And it's also going to include three new colors. So I didn't want you to freak out when you saw... Oh my gosh, what do Why you mean Why does it say June 1st? This will be our second shipment. So mm -hmm. first shipment totally sold out. Yep. Second shipment will arrive in June and that is what is. So if this is the first you're hearing, if you've not been watching for a week and you missed mm -hmm. our super fun um, sagebrush uh, fabric, sagebrush petite you can from Hoffman this Fabrics, now. you can still get it, but it will be here in If June. you're just now ordering, you'll get it mm -hmm. June 1st. Um, if you arrives. are already on the pre-order list and you're like, what? Three more colors? What? A big secret. Well, <laughs> sorry, surprise. We didn't. Yeah, but we're, we thought well, we let's honest, just get all eight. Honestly, we did not expect to uh -uh. sell out like we did. No, which is fantastic it's, and yeah. super humbling and yeah, super fantastic. Who knew that everybody loves sage oh, as much as we do? So we that, love sagebrush. So since we had to do a pre-order, we decided the other three colors that we thought we would really, really like in the beginning. Um, we, we decided we still do like them, we but do. we decided you guys deserve to financially. See it. We thought we just have to kind of pick and choose, you know, that, yeah, because there is a minimum requirement. Those 10 bolts that we had to buy, that That's was what we had to buy, yeah. And we thought, oh, I don't know if we can sell, you know, 25. Well, no, wait, what's my math? 10 to 80 bolts, yeah, no, that's not right. It's a hundred, we have to, it's a hundred five colors, eight bolts, oh, 40, yeah. <laughs> It's a lot. <laughs> Let me drink um, some coffee. 40 bolts. So we, but but the fact that we sold out of 40 bolts in a couple of days. Yeah. You guys um, deserve three so more colors. So much that us here at the shop don't get any. I didn't get any. <laughs> so, I didn't get one. No. So we so had to buy some either. fresh too. Brandon, yeah, we, we don't get any until June. Yeah. We can't even make a sample. No. That's all we got. So yeah. these are the three n newest New colors. Um, this one's called E. This one is pink and purpley and black. This was I wouldn't color. call it pink. Do you feel like it's uh, okay, pink? Okay, maybe it's not pink. It's maroon. Maroon. Red. Okay, yeah, maroon. Christmassy red. It is rich. It's like um, what I think Boston Fall would look, look like. Look at it with the black one. Love it. Look how gorgeous that is. And then there is a lighter green. So if you... The most popular one, the one that we sold out of first, was this one. Yeah. And this one is kind of this rust background with the green. And so then we thought, this is kind of the reverse. This is a green background with the rust. Mm -hmm. So this was the most popular. So new color. This one is color D, as in D. Daug. And then this really cool fire looking one. Yeah. Super awesome. Color number B, yeah. as in boy. So those are the three newest colors yeah. that will not be here until June. This one so. was the other one that was, these two were the two most popular. Of course. Which kind of makes sense background. because this would be your background. And, and of course, of fall. Tone. Yeah. Yeah. So three new colors, ordered more. Um, if you have already pre-ordered, uh, it will be coming in any moment. If you want to order more because you've decided what project you want to make or you want to order any of the three new colors, those will not be until June, but that you'll see that on yeah. the website. It, and it will be two separate shipments. We'll send you your first stuff and then send you the second yeah. stuff. So, so And exciting. we are not going to mention it. You won't hear us talk about it again yeah. until it arrives. And then when it arrives, we'll go, oh yeah, look, and then you know we'll get to see it. But, um, mm -hmm. but otherwise, we're not going to mention it again because... Yeah. You're our, you know, you're our, you're you're our faves. Yeah. yeah. So we think that you should know, knowing, have some time because yeah. I know for sure there are people out there that did not know that we put it online. 
Oh, it's possible. And so. And it happened so fast. It, it did happen amazing. really fast. Um, so, yeah. But it was so popular, we're already working on we're, artwork we're for another one. I, I know. Yeah. I know. That was kind of fun because we it's, had other ideas. And you know what's funny? It's always been on our list to design a line of fabric. We, mm -hmm. you know, always say, but teaks are really fun and, mm -hmm. you know, even more dear to mom's heart after doing the whole Bali thing. Yes. You know, so it's kind of fun. Just one of those little gates to open that maybe we might do something with clothworks or something in the future but it's just something fun and yeah. little and just not and to know that it was successful yeah is really a good thing to know that you guys you know like our back and it's like oh we well, we'll buy it yeah <laughs> got it <Thank> you <laughs> we like it too yes so okay all right so let's talk about um the quilt behind us and first oh, we need to yeah. mention that the quilt for um harper we did go ahead and send that we thought about that afterwards so we have sent her first quilt to her mm -hmm. so that she gets her own and then as soon as we get the other three quilted then we'll send the next package mm -hmm. and then we'll get the other ones done yeah. so harper she's the little girl um, we talk about her on our website um we're still asking for prayers for her she's in the hospital has been in the hospital since october waiting for a new heart mm -hmm. And um, so we've been making um, quilts with uh, quilt blocks that you guys yeah. have put together. So we have sent her first quilt to her and very quickly here um, they will get three more. Uh, one for her brother that's been finished, one for her sister that's and been then finished, and then another herself. one for her. Yes. And then we are also making one for her mother and then another one for her. So yeah. <laughs> she will not be cold. No. No. And the quilt behind us, yes. uh, Sandra Dix. Sandra? Does it look familiar? Sandra. So um, what uh, happened was she, um, these were layer cakes. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a little Christmas special, so she bought two different layer cakes, and she just put these together, just super simple. Yeah. So it's just your 10 inch square with a little bit of sashing and a cornerstone, and she did two of these, mm -hmm. sent them up, Barbara Hartman quilted them for yep. her, and is now, we're shipping these back to you today. Yes. So you'll have both of them. And if but. there is something that you like, Carolyn Hutchinson um, puts out a pattern called Simply Sashing. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a really slick way um, to put sashing and cornerstones in together. So if it's something that you like this look, but not sure if you can do it on your own, mm -hmm. this pattern, it's $9, super easy. She's done all of the math to be able to do it in five sizes, from crib to queen. So And the other thing is she fantastic. has a little trick. It's not just your basic sew this row, sew this row, sew this row, which is mm -hmm. the way that I teach you. She does it a little bit different so that absolutely everything lines up, I mean, yeah. without a lot of Not a lot a of lot pinning, of not a lot of fessing. So yeah. it's, it's on a nice, yeah, nice yeah. pattern. All right. All right. Anything else? No, that was good. Lot. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, we, we got, got a lot done. That today. was a lot. We got a lot. A lot. Done. Don't I'm miss. Though. Call your friends. Make sure they watched. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like we got things off our list. Yeah, we got things done. I'm yeah. excited. I'm super right. super excited. All right. See you guys tonight for box opening. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.